What's going on my friends, DJ Lowstax here. Welcome back or to the channel. Today, I'm gonna try to keep this video nice and short for you, but I ran into a little issue this past weekend at a corporate event. <laughs> So long story short, I was running uh, my black 65 inch video booth and we had to do a little conversion. So I was going to be mixing during cocktail slash dinner. And what ended up happening is once cocktail got done, we transitioned into dinner. I had to move my photo booth back into the main ballroom and I needed to set it up. So I was going to play some music on Spotify for a few minutes while I set up the photo booth. Well, I was using my Rev 5, which I haven't used a ton. I've only had it out a few times, and I've never used it to play Spotify. So I'm trying to figure it out, and normally you go into the audio settings on your MacBook, and you just change the output to whatever mixer you're using, whether it be your Rev, my, like my Rain 70 or my SRT 1000. Well, when I go in and do that, and I change it to the Rev 5, I wasn't getting the normal, uh, normally it, it converts the left channel into your volume control for Spotify. So what you can do is you can still use your right deck in Serato to drop a track or whatever you want to do. Well, with the Rev 5, I realized it doesn't do that. So what it does is it just makes it so that the main output, the main volume, is what controls the audio for your laptop which that's not gonna work for me. Uh, I made it work this past weekend, but moving forward, uh, I found a solution and I know what I'm gonna do, and it's a pretty cheap fix. So in my ceremony rig, uh, if you guys have ever seen my walkthrough of that, um, basically what I have in there is I have this little device, it's called an LTI Blocks. Uh, it's by uh, Rap, Rapco Horizon is the brand. But what this is, is it stands for Laptop Interface Blocks. And what it is, is it's basically just an eighth inch <clears throat> output uh, that goes into eight put, eight, eighth inch input, excuse me. So basically headphone jack input that goes into a XLR out and it has a volume control. But what it actually does is it takes your stereo signal out of your device, whether it be an iPad or a laptop or whatever, and it turns it into a mono XLR output. And it also has a volume control. Now, I've also noticed that if I use this with my iPad, it actually increases the volume coming out. So if I were to use a regular, uh, you know, uh, regular aux cable, uh, it doesn't quite have the volume that this does <clears throat> coming out of my iPad for whatever reason. But it has the volume control, and it takes that, like I said, that stereo signal, turns it into mono. But another thing that, I do, that it does that I think is super cool is it also protects your equipment. So a lot of our, our external mixers and things like that use something called phantom power. This will actually block the phantom power from going back into your computer or your iPad and damaging it. So I'll leave a link to this down in the description. Um, if you're watching this on Instagram or somewhere else, uh, check out my bio. I've got a link there to my Amazon store. Got a lot of cool stuff in there, including this right here. But highly suggest picking this up. Um, I'll leave an Amazon link. It's uh, just over 30 bucks, I believe. Well worth the money, and it got, has a lot of applications. So definitely something cool to have in your uh, little toolbox. As always, guys, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing, click that like button, and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. Peace.